Hi, I am Kong here and welcome back to the course uh, of plotting figures in MATLAB. So uh, in the last tutorial here, uh, I will uh, show you uh, how to export high quality figures in uh, project papers. Actually, it is good enough for journal papers and even uh, more than the requirement from journals. So before we go to the MATLAB tutorial, I just have a quick a funny question for you. Uh, in the word file here, I have two uh, figures, exactly the same. But one is better uh, quality, one is uh, uh, not good quality. Uh, can you see what is the difference? The question is, if in that kind of view, you cannot see any difference. But let me zoom out. Let me zoom out the figure and you can see. Okay. Do you not see it right? More. More. And I will zoom out one more time. And one more time as well. Okay, now you can see. I hope you can see, but my apologize if you cannot distinguish between two figures. You can see on the left here, the number and the wood is still very good quality, right? But meanwhile, in the right figure here, you can see the number, the wood is a little bit, uh, you know, in fading, right? And even my plot here, you can see here is scatter is still very square, but now here is not square anymore. Here is not circle anymore, but here is still circle. You can see. So basically, that one is not good. That one is good, and I would tell you that that figure here, uh, it is very high quality. And when we submit your papers or your thesis or your report to journal or conference using that kind of high quality figures, you can see it. They, you won't, don't have any double in terms of the quality and uh, the figures plotting. So uh, what I do is I export uh, in the MATLAB, I export the figures with that quality, 600 dpi, which is double than the requirement from journal. Journal only required 300. I export in 600 dpi. And then when I import to Word, Word will automatically convert it to 330 PPI figures, right? And it's good enough for the journal. Um, that is my uh, guarantee. So um, before I go to MATLAB, I just uh, want to show you how how I did it. So. When you make a paper or report, before you put some figure in your Word documents, just go to File Option and Advanced and set Default Resolution to 330 PPI. You can see, I go File and Option and Advanced here, and you can see I select Default Resolution and 300 and PPI. Then I go with File option advance and you see default resolution is 330 ppi okay choose that one uh, if you choose very low one uh, your figure will be automatically converted to low quality lower quality and it's not good for your paper and then in MATLAB I will save the figure in high quality format. I let's say here is my figure. I go find and export and then choose the render option here and resolution. I choose 600 dpi. So normally my lab will choose all two, but now I change it 600 and I apply to figure. And then I export them and save them in a no compression image file and as a result 
I I got the very high quality you can see the size of the here is the same figure the same contents but one uh, very low quality here is uh, you can see the size is very small which is low quality but in when I export in 600 dpi and uncompressed uh, TIFF file you can see my file is 26 megabyte and it's very high quality right and when we have that high quality you just simply uh, go file sorry go insert here and then picture here and then this device and then you will navigate to the folder that you that you store the, the figure and then import it that is how I did it and now I will show it in here I will come back live plot here okay data here I will export that one for you to see I go find export setup and then go render and then you can see the resolution here it is out to I will make it 600 right DPI and then I apply it to figure wait for my lab it's successfully applied to figure and then go to export and then I will choose the folder that I want to export the figure and pay attention here I often what I often do is I will export the figure in two type okay one is dot fig which is mana figure let's say dot one okay enter uh, and one is uh, same uh, plot one but in the tiff no compression image don't use that one use the uh, the later one that one is high quality it will remain all high quality of the figure if you use that one uh, it will reduce a little bit so use the last one here and then export and okay uh, so you see now why I said that I need to export in both of them you can see the size is very high that one is enough for us right you can uh, import that figure let's say here is, is I, I will import it for example here I can import it for you this device You can resize them if you want. Go to sign position and it says 70%. Or you can keep it original one. That one is very high quality. Right? Why I need to save it in the MATLAB file? Because my experience is sometimes when I submit uh, the paper to the journal or conference. Uh, in the review process they request me to change something in the figure and amazing that if you don't you uh, if you only save the figure in the t file you cannot recover it or it's very difficult to rec recover it but if you save it in the figure file of mana you can easily reopen it and change this let's say now I don't have uh, the figure but I can go my lab and just double click here I will probably will have my figure and then I can change whatever I want right so it's very convenient for me in the review process or even let's say in this research you want to plot that figure in, in this format but later on you think that okay I need to modify that one and then 
just double click here and then just modify inside here right so i recommend strongly recommend you to let me to export in both format tiff file and uh, mana figure file okay so i think uh, that is all for the uh, current tutorial uh, in terms of uh, exporting as i write here is an example that i did in the tutorial Just for use in case you don't understand why we have this figure. So here's the example we did, right? And again, the saw code here, uh, which is a picture that I write in here. You can see I have uh, fem data here in case you don't have, right? Uh, for your for you to practice, I have main tutorial uh, uh, here. And here is the own the function I use in the uh, this course, and here is the uh, word files for the current word file here. Right, I will close this. So I will upload that one uh, for the course, and you can freely download the documents and source. Again, thank you very much for attending the course.